Hi, my name is Caroline Nastasiak. I am a research fellow and I work at the Department of Psychological Medicine at the University of Auckland. Well, Sparks is a, um, a gamified program, online program for young people who are experiencing difficult times in terms of managing the mood, feeling, feeling down, feeling stressed and sort of experiencing depression. Well, we believe Sparks is the first time game has been used to help young people cope with depression. And we wanted to specifically sort of use the engaging format of a game, knowing that this is the, the way sort of, of the future, this is the way young people interact with computer technology. So instead of having a lot of words on text and having to, to read through and click here and there, we wanted to sort of make the experience quite immersive and engaging and sort of on young people's terms. We chose a game knowing that that's probably the one thing that young people want to do on a computer. And we thought, well, if we can't fight them, let's, let's join them. When we started thinking about working with young people, we looked at what's been happening overseas, and we found there was nothing for young people. There were some programs online and computer programs for adults. We wanted to do something for young people, and we knew we needed to do it a little bit differently. It's for young people kind of broadly, it's a very broad age group, but 12 to, to 18 or 19 and probably it's pitched at young people at the age of sort of 14, 15, 16. So this is their core audience. We also have their parents using it or learning about it so that they can help the young people. We also have got health professionals who may also use it with young people or as a way of kind of getting them through the door and kind of getting their buy-in. We know in terms of depression that girls experience depression at twice the rate as boys, so not surprisingly we have more girls using it. But I guess because Sparks has got the, the elements of kind of a fantasy game, we are getting probably a, a few more boys kind of wanting to try it and wanting to give it a go. We've done a number of randomised controlled trials that have shown the effectiveness of, of Sparks. Having now taken it onto the internet, we, we now are tracking young people who are going through Sparks. So we're monitoring their, uh, how many people are using it, how long they're using it for, and whether they are showing sort of self-reported changes in their symptoms. And we're seeing some really positive results as well. We, we also want young people, if they're not getting better, to get help from health professionals. So we've got a lot of messages around where and how to get help because it's important that this program is for young people who are sort of at the marked to moderate range and young people need to go and get appropriate help. We definitely get a lot of health professionals interested in it for various reasons. One is for some it may be a way of sort of upskilling or sort of just finding ways to find the language that works with young people. Young people don't really like talking to psychologists or psychiatrists, especially young boys, you know, they, they, this is not really a fun, cool thing to do. So by kind of showing them something on a computer, on a screen, it may be kind of just that sort of uh, planting a seed and kind of getting them through the door. I would say that Sparks is tall in the box, so there are many ways you can overcome difficulties and Sparks is just a more playful sort of way that speaks in a young people's language. It may be something that you do as a first port of call, but it can also be used as a sort of way of um, introducing young people to the language of mental health and kind of demystifying the whole thing, you know, that there are some really simple strategies that you can do and you can kind of take control of, of things at home at your own time, it doesn't have to be on on a therapist's couch. We would love to um, take over the world. We, we need quite a lot of money to do that. You know, in the world of, of computer technology and games, you know, it's a fast developing world, so we, we probably haven't kept up with the pace of it. And uh, when we talk to young people, they tell us they want it to be on a touch screen or they want it to be you know, on their smartphone. So I guess the next step would be to sort of crack that market and to make it sort of, you know, a sort of a sparks in your pocket. Well, I, I think games have got a, a, a sort of universal appeal from children, probably very young ones, all the way to sort of even seniors and across several health disciplines, whether it's to do with mental health or sort of even life skills, lifestyle choices that we make. I'm surprised that it actually hasn't been more widely adopted as a sort of as a way to get people to use um, you know, healthy strategies. Mm -hmm.